Hi there, and, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us and tuning in today. We're coming to you live for the first time since the pandemic uh, has us all quarantined and, and kind of shut in. Uh, but here we are with, with masks and, and proper social distancing because we felt it was important uh, to, for you to share in this, this moment with us, this very significant moment for us. And in order for me to, to share exactly how significant this moment is, I really need to set the stage. Uh, DAD is entering its centennial year uh, in September. Uh, we'll be marking that 100 years the same way we do every day, which is by providing services, voluntary services, employment services, medical benefit services to disabled veterans, veterans and their families, as we do every day. But we're also going to be looking back and reflecting on the last 100 years uh, of the, the events, the people, uh, the veterans who have really built this organization uh, into what it is today and who have propelled our mission uh, from its humble beginnings back in 1920 uh, to, to where we are today. And as part of that commemoration, as part of that looking back, we're actually going to be casting and creating a, a large bell. It's going to be a ceremonial bell uh, that will live at national headquarters, uh, very large, very heavy bell, as you can imagine, and it will have artwork and script on it that tells the story of those first 100 years. So that sets the stage for where we are now. Now, the part of that bell is going to be, of course, all, all the, the bronze that, that goes into, into creating it, but some of the metal in that bell uh, is going to be cast from sacred uh, pieces from our history. Uh, those include a World War I helmet, like this replica here, uh, there will be medals from various eras. There will also be a piece of shrapnel from the Marine Corps barracks bombing in Beirut in 1983. And living with that, cast together with that, will be a piece of this sacred metal right here, the sacred steel. Uh, and I'm joined here today by Aaron Clark, who is a Marine Corps veteran, a DAB Life member, and he's here on behalf of FDNY Fire Family Transport, which is a charity that reminds me a little bit of, of DAV's transportation network in some ways, and they provide uh, for the transportation needs of injured uh, FDNY members, uh, their families, and military members. Uh, and he has driven all the way down here from New York to Cold Spring today to deliver this, this sacred artifact. Thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure's mine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and can you tell me uh, about this this piece? Yeah, so this piece was given to me by the FDMI Fire Family Transport. I believe it was cut on, on Memorial Day. Um, and once they heard that you were looking for a piece of Trade Center Steel, uh, Danny Prince, he's a huge driving force of charity and, and just uh, humanity for the fire department. He wanted to make sure that you, that the DAV received a piece of steel to put into your so he contacted me said hey, let's let's try to make this happen and you know due to COVID the air, air, airlines weren't able to manage it so I said it was drive us down here so, so you drove it down yeah, drove and, down. and you know I should mention with with Danny because uh, he's, a, he's a friend of, of DAV he's a supporter of ours uh, and of course a, a supporter of yours a longtime firefighter uh, Danny is a Coast Guard veteran as well as a Navy veteran but Correct. anytime you can work the Coast Guard in there you cannot <laughs> forget our Coasties no, absolutely uh, not. yeah they get on us if we don't forget them uh, so it's important that we mention that uh, and and so as I mentioned this this artifact uh, this, this sacred piece of steel is going to live be cast into this bell uh, and it's going to be part of our history and it's going to, to, to be there forever uh, as part of, of the centennial and it's going to be with those other items you know all the way back to World War One uh, and I, uh, of course we're honored by that what, what how do you feel as a, as a firefighter uh, as a Marine Corps veteran, as a DAV member, uh, knowing that, that this piece of steel, part of this piece of steel will live in. in well, as, as, a, as a fireman, I, my, as I was telling you earlier, my house lost 15 members. Uh, the, the city itself lost 343 members. Um, the amount that the military has given to, to our fire department, our city, uh, for that day, you know, it's uh, so significant. And to have a piece of this honored by the DAV, it, it just it kind of comes together, you know, as, as, a, as a Marine, I think that, uh, you know, to serve my country and to serve my city, it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a great thing that you guys are doing. Yeah, well, we, we, can't, we can't thank you enough. Number one, 
for this donation, and again to, to FDNY Fire Family Transport, uh, but also special thanks to you for, again, taking the time, coming down here with your family, with your dog, and driving all the way down here from, from New York to, to Cold Spring and delivering this. Um, as part of, uh, I, I, you want me to mention that this is part of uh, DAB's 100 Acts of Honor, uh, which is a way that, that anyone uh, around the country can do a, a voluntary, a good deed for a veteran uh, and share that on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, just using that hashtag, hashtag 100 Acts of Honor. Um, one more question I wanted to, to ask you about, you know, when I, I think about, I, I look back to 9-11 to and, and I had just started working uh, at DAV right after that and I was surprised uh, to learn about all the different, the missions of this organization and one of the things that really surprised me was that we had uh, claims benefits experts, our DAB NSOs, down providing disaster relief uh, to the, the the firefighters who were down uh, down there who were affected. Uh, they were down at the port authority providing that disaster relief. Um, what, what, how does that make you feel as both a firefighter and a DAB member? Well, it's extremely proud, and it's also um, it's it's for the DAV, it's it's just something that the DAV would have done anyway. You know, I mean, the DAV it's it's a great organization. I can I can never. I speak highly about it on a daily basis to all the veterans that are in my firehouse, everyone that I know. Um, and you know, it's uh, to have you guys down there during that time is just you know proves what a, what an organization that you that, that this is. You know, it's, uh, it's it's incredible. Well, Aaron, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to let you take us out with a, a shout out to your ladder company, your boys back home. If you look, uh, yeah, I'm with uh, Ladder Company Four in Manhattan, uh, Engine Fifty Four, Ladder Four, Battalion Nine. Uh, and, you know, like I said, it's always an honor to be representative of the fire department, the fire family, FDMI fire family transport, and uh, to help veterans that are always in need and to be a part of this. So thank you very much. Thank you, Harry.